Hello guys, it's Charging Ryuki here, and welcome to another visual novel called Malia, The Ending. I know nothing about this, so let's start another journey to the end. Little boy says, hey! I called out to the girl. She put aside the book she was reading and looked up, looked at me. What's wrong? She asked. Normally I would drag her around and do, my, do many silly things, but that day was different. Because for the first time, I faced reality. Uh, um, are you going to disappear? I wanted to hear the answer directly from her. I couldn't believe it. I just didn't want to believe that my best friend will no longer exist. The little girl replies, disappear um I was told that to protect this world by the time you turn 20 Malia is going to disappear she sil silently looked at me then gazed at the vast blue sky. At that time, I could only watch and wait for her answer. I didn't know what to say. I still remember my feelings back then. Sadness, regret, uneasiness, bitterness. I don't know how to describe it in words. I was at a loss. I was afraid of losing my most precious friend. In a way, yes, I'm going to disappear. Hearing those heavy words, I dropped my head. They were so painful. Then at the time, I could feel a warm hand patting on my head. I looked up and saw that day when you suddenly went out of my reach. Only then I recognized how important you were to me. I tried my best. However, I couldn't keep my promise. At the end, when I had to choose between you and the world, I... Brother! Rizzi. Uh, um. Brother, get up! Uh, if you don't get up, then don't blame me afterward. Hmm. Punishment. Uh, huh? Uh, oh no. What's gonna happen? I feel like there is something crawling on my face. I open my eyes and see that black little thing right on my cheek. Ah! Cockroach! <laughs> Served you right. And Miru. Huh. That must be her name. This must be uh, Rize's brother, little sister. Cute blue eyes she has. 
I hastily flick off, flick it off, and get up. <laughs> Cockroach, Miru, quick, chase it out! No, kill it, kill it, kill it with fire, kill it with fire! Oh man, <laughs> Miru, my only little sister, just stands there laughing her head off while I'm scared to death. Scared of a little cockroach. Yes, cockroach. The thing I hate. The thing that I hate and that scare the most of my, in my life. Even I don't understand why. You deserve that. For not getting up after I went through all of the trouble of waking you up. Miru, please! There won't be a next time. What a pathetic scene. I'm trembling in a corner of the room while that creature is resting on my pillow. I can feel its murderous aura. One wrong move and it will charge at me. <laughs> ha! Me do! Alright! But the next time... You have to wake up immediately when I call, okay? I nod repeatedly with a pale face. Wait for my sister to come for the rescue. Well, everyone has a thing or two that they are afraid of. So, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Good job, soldier. You can go now. Mir then turns to the cockroach and says loudly, Flap, flap, flap. <laughs> Done. Let's go have breakfast downstairs. What an unbelievable scene. I just witnessed... I know that animals love Miru. From when she was little. Still little. Still. I will remember what just happened. You people with little sisters... Be careful. Don't play with fire. That's true. Another peaceful morning. I have breakfast with Miru, then go preparing for my job. We live in a small house in Malaya City. Malaya, the capital and also the center of this world, Eventia. Long time ago, Eventia was united and no longer separated into countries. Although, there are still differences in languages and culture. Brother, just slow down. It's still early. Mm. Our mother passed away when she gave birth to Miru. A few years ago, my father also went after her. Only I and Miru are left in this house. And because of my father's sudden death, I had to take over his job sooner than expected. It has been two years since I became his replacement. This year, I will officially inherit his title. Hey, Rize? Hmm. That day, it will be in this year, right? Um, this year. The day Mira mentioned happens each, each 20 years. That day, that Malia, the goddess has to sacrifice her body, then be reborn to keep this world from being destroyed. 200 years ago, there were two goddesses protecting this world, but then... A tragic event happened. Goddess Hedria, 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 hmm, sacrificed her body and soul to curse the world. Curse this world. Well, I guess we're finding the backstory. It's pretty sad, though. I mean, we got we got a little boy. At the store, talks to a little girl who happens to be a friend of his, asks a heavy question with getting a yes as an answer, and then now we find out the backstory that these two siblings had lost their parents at a young age. 
and now Rize has to, the oldest I believe has to take over his father's title the only one to prevent that curse from destroying this world is goddess Malia our father was chosen to be the goddess's guardian and now it's my turn I don't think I'll be I'll ever be able to rest after that day because of a personal reason. I think I started at play, started this place. Thanks for the meal. I will go back to my room a little. Ah, um. Hey, Miru. I call out to her when she was about to go upstairs. Thanks for everything. Yes. Brother, what did you say? Uh, nothing. You are so strange. Well, I will go now. I feel a bit relieved after seeing Miru's smiling face. She is my only relative. Although, we are not blood, oh, not blood related. Ah. So that, okay. Okay. I was adopted by Miru's parents before she was born. So that also explains things. <sighs> he must have... His father must have been the only one left, so his mother must have died. And then his father ended up dying later. Oh, okay. However, since childhood, I and her are close like real brother and sister. After my father's death, I always look after Miru. I want her to live a happy life. It's more crowded than usual, it just isn't it? Yeah, I guess everyone is preparing for the upcoming festival. And the artwork, I would say before I continue on, looks really brightly colored and well done. The artwork of the character of Miru is well done. We don't know what Rize looks like yet, just yet. Whoop, I bumped the camera. But everything else looks pretty well done. So far, even the music is well done. Even though I turned it down just a little bit. And also, your special day, right? Yeah. Right. It's also the day I officially inherit my father's title. A proud position in the eye of everybody. Reason. Isn't that Serena over there? Or Serena? Serena Ser Serena. Hmm. After walking for a while, we see Serena talking to the owner of a fruit shop. Of the fruit shop. She also notices us right away. She waves her hand and shouts Meter's name from afar, only Meter's name. Ha! <laughs> oh, that must be her. Also well done. I like the pigtails. I think she might be a suited heir, or pretty close to it. You know, she's got some pretty good looking green eyes. She's got, uh, Meter's got perfect, beautiful blue eyes. Yeah, I, I like the pink and green, pink and, uh, green eyes. That's actually pretty, pretty well done. It's pretty cute. Meter! Serena! Serena runs towards us, or to be precise, towards Miru, and pats her on the head. <laughs> or pats her head. Yo, Serena, have you eaten breakfast yet? It's bad to eat, fr eat fruit before having meals, you know. Or so I think. I heard that's a bit bad to di digest fruit with an empty stomach. Maybe I'm wrong, but who cares? I just want to act like I worried about her. <laughs> Miru, are you going with someone to Malia's place? Ignoring me, Serena continues talking with Mir. As typical. It's not that she doesn't hear me, she just pre just pretends that she couldn't. Maybe that's what her way of flirting with you. Take that hint. Or well, whatever. It has always been like that. Serena always tries to pick- Ah, yep, I was right, pick on me. Yep, pick it on him. But because of that, we are very close friends. Yep. Yes. Brother woke up late, so today we can't go to Malia's place early. 
I feel bad to keep Sister Malia waiting. Malia here is Goddess Malia. Serena and Miru say that name naturally, just like calling a friend. Well, it's normal to us since we are close friends of Goddess Malia. It must be hard being a little sister to of a useless guy. Wow. Wow. Damn. Picking a fight right in the morning, right early in the morning. Seems like Serena won't be satisfied if she's not able to make fun of me every time we meet. Probably make her happy if you just ask her out. Hey, you will die if you don't provoke me or something, right? Or some provoke me or something. <laughs> oh man, Serena gives me a scornful look, then changes attitude and smiles at me. Well, an idiot like someone should feel grateful to be to only be called useless. Ha. Huh. I did say we are fighting, but I am always the one who steps back. True, because your sister will take your mirror will obviously take Saren aside. And well, you can't argue with two women. You once just happens to be your sister, whether she's blood related or not, you're gonna lose. Every guy has experienced that. Sad thing is, I don't have a lot of friends who are girls, so I don't know. But I have seen this happen. A real man doesn't need to mind such sarcasm. Serena, uh, Miru, let's come to my house this afternoon. There is a so delicious cake waiting for you. Ignoring my existence again, my childhood friend turns back to seducing my little sister. Oh, really? Where are we going now? We're going down that road? Okay, let's dive into it. Uh, I'm sorry, but I already have plans for this afternoon. Eh, why? Aw, oh, such a sad face. Ha ha ha! Serves you right. Don't think you can seduce my little sister that easy. And she's even ashamed of it just a little bit. But that's still, still adorable. Although, I'm not sure what Miro's plan is, but I feel satisfied seeing this. A real man still has the right to laugh at others' pain, you know. To himself! Unless he's with his own friends. Like, guy friends. Basically, when you're dealing with two women, it's best just to uh, keep your own laughter toward them to yourself so you don't get smacked in the face. <laughs> Self-preservation? That's too bad. Well, maybe next time then. Yes, I promise. Now I have some stuff to take care of. I will see you later at Malia's place. So frustrating. Ignore me every single time. I will make her pay for the next time. Brother, you said this thousands of times already. Busted. My pride has been hurt quite a lot today, but just leave it at it. Just leave it at that. Now I have to go to my workplace. With the responsibility of protecting the goddess, I have to serve inside the castle every day. Though it's not as strict as in the past, I could go home when it's dark. However, my house is set to be near the line, near the, to be near the castle. Oh, Reza, you're late today, huh? Mira had to wake you up. Right, wake you up, right? Ha <laughs> ha. What kind of waking up did your sister give you today? Those patrol guards inside the castle laugh at me. <laughs> Looks like everyone knows about my story. Shut up. It's not something you want to know about. Hey, I have some free time. Wanna go go have some juice? Quotations. Juice at the old place. Quote. Bar. Hello. With us? 
wrapping their arm